together. But I'll tell you one thing, this is the worst abused ATV I've ever seen. This was no farm tractor, this was run full blast in the mud, upside down, backside up, all over. Everything was just horrible on this. Brakes, brake cables, the carb, the engine was shot from all the mud and the crap that got in the air box. Cleaned the air box up the best I could. It was horrible all the way around. The overflow hose here, there was literally four inches, four inches of muck oil in there, which means this thing's been on its side several times, never drained, never cleaned, never maintained. Everything was shot on this. Just horrible. Now we got a rebuilt engine, lots of stuff replaced. I'm just almost finished putting it back together here. This machine has just been a nightmare. The worst abused machine I've ever seen. But now, it should be good. I hope. Alright, now we've got to put some antifreeze in there. So, being that the rat is way under there, and you can't get at it up here unless you take all this off it doesn't make any sense poor design as usual so something i saw on youtube youtube is helpful and handy sometimes you know <laughs> anyways so i got a 90 degree elbow there and a hose and the hose connected to a funnel and dump the antifreeze in there and fill up the rad and then fill up the the overflow lose the cap and then we'll have some antifreeze and then we can uh, possibly run this thing everything should be good or better than it was I'm still I'm still at awe how bad this machine was like just trashed unbelievable anyways we're gonna put some antifreeze in see if it works hose is a little crimped but still should flow through maybe well, it seems to be going in and not going out anyways good sign and I'm also gonna have to clean up that rad once uh, once I can get it to uh, spray wash or get some unfrozen water, winter sucks. All right, antifreeze in there. A little overflow tote is full. Everything seems to be back in place. I just got to put all the clips and whatnot in on this panel, but I want to start her up one more time just to make sure it's on Got neutral set sounds a heck of a lot better gas myself out in here 
that sounds good. First thing that sounded good on this machine in months. Like I said, I just got to finish putting this panel back on and the floorboard. And that should be it. This thing has been a pain in the ass from day one. And we've gone right through everything on this whole machine now. So, fingers crossed that she works. It stays working. I wonder what else will go wrong. <laughs> All right. Be sure to check out the uh, the rest of the uh, videos in the playlist for the Brute Force 2005, and you can follow along with my misery. And uh, we're going to continue to do stuff with it. So I got a plow for it. I got the click and go plow with it so we'll see how that does and uh, also got a back box for it so I'll have to clean that up fix that up I'll put that on probably I'm not gonna spend any more money on this thing so if you ever wonder how much work goes into rebuilding an engine and fixing a quad and you wonder why it costs so much well <laughs> that's why it costs so much it takes hours and hours and hours and hours the money's nothing it's a time so it's alive <laughs>